Greetings, everyone. I'm here today to share that your work is not wasted. Today's short video is a guide to how to leverage your online course knowledge in the hybrid setting. The good news is that the switch to hybrid is going to be easier for you than you may initially think at this stage in the game. Of course, you already know how to teach in person, check. And for well over the past year, you've been teaching mostly all or exclusively all of your courses online, check plus. Combining your in-person teaching knowledge with your online teaching experience will help support your transition to hybrid teaching. The focus should be on three areas. Number one, course design. Create clear pathways within your campus courses and create predictable assignment structure. Number two, clear, consistent communication. Revisit your communication plan. Choose consistent announcement patterns and be a warm demander. Number three, collaboration within learning communities. Collaboration should occur regularly in person, and it should occur regularly online. So the question then becomes, what will our hybrid courses look like this fall? Flexibility is key here. You could decide to trade session times where one Monday, one half of your students come, and the next Monday, the other half attends. Or students are either in class or on Zoom and they switch. Another way could be that you actually split your session time where one half of the group comes for part of it and the other half comes the other part. Or you might have another idea that works best for you and your students. It's up to you. Here are some tips for hybrid success. First, assist with time management. Students need to know which assignments they're going to be doing online versus face-to-face, -face, as well as how long each of these assignments are going to take. Second, use Canvas for all assignment submissions. For those assignments that they hand write or complete in class, they can use a scanning app to upload them to Canvas very easily. It will help everyone to be more organized. Third, instead of reinventing the wheel, use your online Canvas shell and choose one activity, lecture, or assessment to do in person. The rest can remain online. Next, use Google tools like Docs to create collaborative, editable documents that students in class and online can both access at the same time or asynchronously. Finally, it's really important to have students download the Canvas app so that they can access your course from anywhere at any time. As with anything, it's important to be ready for Plan B. If technology is not working properly for you or your students are having issues on their end, have an alternative in place if you can. Again, flexibility is key. Also, regularly take a moment to ask for anonymous student feedback. One idea is to have a short Google Form questionnaire at the end of each unit. This way you can continue to revise your hybrid practice. Here are some alternative resources, including my more detailed presentation for hybrid teaching. You can access them through this QR code or find them in our online teaching resources. Thank you so much for your continued efforts for our students.